Hey, hey guys, tis I, Randy Strand, and I am here today to do a long-awaited, craftably unboxing or untubing. Um, basically, I got in two paintings that I ordered. You won't be getting tubes anymore. I think they're going to boxes. This was sort of a last order. I was really hoping I would get this color because I have the peach and a lot of the purple, or I had a lot of the purple. I, I gave some of them away, but I really wanted this one. So I'm, I'm happy that I opted for the tubes. This is the way that their um, toolkit comes. Let me open this up. I'll show you what all you get. You get two little things of washi tape. It looks like I have Christmas and maybe some pears. I think they're pears. And then you get a little cover minder. Oh, looks like the magnet broke off the back. That's all right. You get a little cover minder and you get a little pad of wax and then you get your tool kit. Now it says on here, tweezers, double headed pin, pin grip tray and glue pad. I don't know what a glue pad is. So let's open this up and see. I normally wouldn't open this up, but I figured why not. So we've got our purple pointy tweezers here. Take that off, there you go. So I would recommend keeping the cover on until you're ready to use them. We have a little, oh cool, they changed their trays up and it's actually a MOSFA. So if you are a MOSFA tray fan, then there you go. It's like purple and sparkly. So that's really cool because they used to just have the white MOSFA trays. You've got a squishy for your pen. We've got obviously a pen and that's got a little thin four placer on it. And then it looks like purple wax too. So I wonder what a glue pad is. And then you've got a thin seven placer. So yeah, I don't know why that says glue pad. I guess that just means the wax. So anyways, that is what you get in your toolkits. I have two of them, but I'm not gonna open the other one um, because you know what's in it. Basically the two washi tapes and the cover minder may be different in there. So here is my first painting. First of all, I like the fact that they put a sticker on here instead of a little tag that just hangs on the side. This will be great because I keep them in the tube. So this is Rainbow Day Dream Mermaid. I cannot remember who she is by, but I will, I'm sure we'll find out when we look at the canvas. So let's take this off and get all of the goodies out of here. Um, this was all in a craftably box, but obviously I took it out. This is a telescoping tube, so you can make it shorter or longer. You just twist it and push it down in there or pull it out. So depending on what painting, that's how it goes. So let's get into this one first. Oh, and I guess I could show you what the other one is too. That way you know. The other one, I don't know that anybody else ordered this that I know of. It's called Ronin Rising. And I just thought she was really cool. She's like a samurai warrior or something. So that's the second one I'll be unboxing. That way, if you're interested, you can hang out for a bit. And uh, if not, then there you go. I'm trying to take, they always wrap these with some sort of tape around the canvas. And it, it doesn't mess it up, but it's kind of a pain in the butt to get off of here. Let me get some scissors. Okay, here it goes, here it goes. So you just kind of pull it off of there. It doesn't hurt the canvas or anything. And the canvas is really soft, it's, it's very nice. It's almost like a felt back, if that makes sense. So, let's open her up. And, Let's turn her back on herself because she is a little wrinkled up, but it's all good. They'll flatten out. And then um, besides the canvas, you will get a big sticker sheet. And I'm not lying when I say big. I mean, this is like huge. So the labels are really, really big and it's got 59 colors. Um, she is a square. Let's see if it says on here. Um, it just says Rainbow Daydream Mermaid. So I think on the, oh, here we go, on the little sticker. Nope, yep, there it is right there. Sarah Burrier is the artist. And then there's your small sticker and then you've got the big sticker sheet. So we got 59 colors. 
Um, I don't think there's like ABs or anything like that in here. I think it just kind of is what it is. I almost forgot. She is a 60 by 80. Um, they have started putting stuff in centimeters, but on these they just say inches and it said um, 24 by 32. So that's roughly a 60 by 80. So she is a, a good size painting. And by looking at the drills, you can tell we've got a good little uh, rainbow palette of colors in there and they are squares. So we'll take out some of the um, darker ones and see if this will focus. We'll take out some of the darker ones and see how they look on the bottom. But like, I mean, even if you look at these right here, they're really flat. Man, that's nice. Even these purple ones that are facing up, you can see. All right. Oh, we've got two packs of drills. Oh, we do have some ABs in here. So here's a yellow one. Wow. One, two, three, four, seven ABs, I think. How did I not see that on the sticker sheet, guys? Um, where did I put my sticker sheet? So I was totally wrong. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ABs. That's gonna be great because there's so many brilliant colors in the painting. So, all right, I was wrong about that. So we do have the two packs of drills. And then in this one right here, you can see there are a bunch of ABs in there. So we'll look at those and uh, figure out where they go. All right, let's open this painting. Oh, and here's a little, some sort of little thing that I guess talks about the Craftably fam family. It's got their social media and then some other accessories that they sell because I think they're going to be selling the telescoping tubes. So here's how to diamond paint. And uh, yeah, so that talks about all of the things they do. Plus we plant a tree for every order. Well, that's cool. You also have their guarantee. All right, let's look at the canvas. Oh, wow. She's pretty. Let me fix you. I think I got most of the shine off of her. Look how beautiful she is. And you can see up in the top, I mean, it's just a very colorful painting. Um, I mean, you could see that by the drills. You can just tell there are going to be a lot of beautiful, brilliant colors in here. I just thought she was so pretty. You know that I love anything underwater. So there's the fish and the corals. And her hair is just so pretty. I really like this one. Um, like I said, I only got two paintings. I got this one and the Ronin Rising. They're very different, but I don't know. They both spoke to me. So anyways, the canvas. We've got Craftably logo at the top. We have the uh, legend over here, legend and thumbnail over here. And then down on the bottom, we have... You can see that the it says Rainbow Daydream Mermaid. Um, it's by Sarah Burrier and it is a licensed copy. You've got the thumbnail again. And over here, it tells you that you can share your progress online. And then it's also got their guarantee and how to contact them. So here she is. Uh, let's take a look at the drill field first. We'll take a look at the drills next and then we'll see where all those ABs go. All right. Let's look up close here. You know I like to get all up in it. So far I'm not seeing any symbols together that are confusing because you know how that goes sometimes. You can get some uh, in different canvases. You can get some together that uh, just look crazy. Let's look at this one. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm not seeing anything that just stands out and it looks like they're pretty clear too. I don't see any like crazy blurry symbols and I don't see anything that's oversaturated. Here's some pink. It looks really good. Yeah, even the little check marks are really crisp. I think they look great. So let us take a look at the drills. As I said, we have two bags. We have 59 colors and they are square drills. So let's see. It's so funny, I don't, I don't know that I see any 
three tens. Oh, maybe there's some dark brown in there. There's some dark green. I, wow, I don't know. So I'm not gonna take every color out, but I'm gonna show you the palette. I mean, you can see there are just so many different colors in here, you know, plus the ABs. It's gonna be a really vibrant painting. So I'm excited about that. Love me some color, love me some color. So let's see. Maybe there is a little 310 down in here. Sorry about the crinkle, guys. You know, I'm opening these up, and if you don't like the crinkle, what's wrong with you, huh? Let's get in here. Let's see. Is that 310? Nope, there's some gray ones. Oh, wow. There's this 939. Nope, 310. All right. And the way that they number these, they do have the symbol in the DMC, but it goes by, like this is gonna be number six. So if you look on the sticker sheet, you can see number six is the 310 and that's the symbol. So that's how they have them marked in here. All right, let's kind of mush these out a little bit and then um, look at the drills. Let me get you right close here. I can get this to focus, focus, focus. There we go. All right. There we go. Trying to get the light not to reflect on there. You guys see that or is it blurry? There we go. They look good to me. I, I don't see a bunch of knobbly bits. and they look nice and shiny. So yeah, I, I think they look good. I mean, you never know until you get them on the canvas. And I say it every time, but it's so true because the drills can look good and then you can put them on there and be like, what just happened? So let me put this kind of near where it was in here. I think it was up near the front because they have them in number order, I'm pretty sure. And then let's find the pack that had the ABs in it. That's what I should have opened up, but I was looking for 310s. Okay, one more time with the crinkle. Yeah, I pulled my plastic. Oh well. Okay, this is awesome. I mean, seven ABs. That's so cool. Wow. All right, so. We have a big bag of these YABs. And if you don't know what an AB is, say it with me guys, it stands for Aurora Borealis. It's just got a little coating on there that picks up the colors around it really well and it just kinda makes it look iridescent. So that's the big old bag of white ones. Then we have a little bag here of the purple, like a light purple color. Here, I'll just lay them out like this so you can see. Oh yes, my favorite. Y'all know I love me some green, some lime green. So here's the green color. Let's look at the coating too and see. Looks pretty good. I mean, it looks, it looks all right. And then we've got a big bag of these orange ones. Actually, you can tell, I didn't realize that before. So that's a 741 AB. Yeah, yeah, the coating on this looks real good. On the green, you couldn't see it as well, but on this one, you can really see that sparkle. Um, let's see, and then we've got another green, but it's kind of a minty green. So that's really pretty too, love that. We have a thick bag of these kind of pinky coral, corally looking ones. And then we've got, 973, which is also coated very well. So yeah, I'm impressed. So these are going to be our ABs. It gives you a nice little color range there with the purple and greens and orange and pink and yellow and white and all that. So I think that'll look really good on the canvas. Let me flip her over and we will see where these bad boys go. All right, so the big bag of AB08 is actually the symbol O. And so there's gonna be a lot of this one. Obviously you can tell it's a pretty good size bag. It's pretty full. 
in her hair where you see all of these light streaks, the white streaks in there, the white streaks up here in her arms, um, all in the tail, um, all throughout here. You've got a bunch, where is it, along the edge here and then sort of throughout that section. Um, it comes down on her tail and even in her fin, you've got some of those. So all throughout the hair, wherever you see the white, there's a lot of AB in there. So you get a lot of that white AB. The second uh, AB is AB 34 and it's this double slash. Now this is a really small bag. So I thought, where are these gonna go? I thought this was kind of interesting where the placement was. Okay, so there was a little bitty section right in here. And then there was, where did that other section go? Guys, right here, under this arm, right in that section. And then the only other spot that I found it was right here throughout her back in that section. And that's it. That is all she wrote on that AB. Then the third AB is going to be AB 38. And it's this little up symbol, if you can see that. And that's going to be this kind of smallish, it's a little bit more than the purple, but still a small bag of that green AB. And that is going to go only in these two sections where you see this little line right here and then in this kind of swirly area and then three right there. That's it. That's all, all you're doing with that color. The next one that we have is the AB741, and that's number four. You've got a really good size bag of this too. Probably, probably mm, at least as many as the white AB, if not a little bit more. All right, and what did I say? That is the number four. Most of that AB is actually gonna be throughout her hair. You've got a bunch of that in these like orange sections. I mean, it, it's all throughout the hair. You've got a ton of that AB just everywhere. And then um, in the flowers up there, they're kind of sprinkled throughout a couple of the flowers. And then down here, the only part where you're gonna have fours is right in this little section. And then you've got just a few in the center of this flower and then a couple right there. So that's all as far as the number fours down here. Then we have S, which is that light AB, that 772. We've got kind of a medium sized bag of that. I think because we've got so much going on with the hair up here and a lot of the ABs in the hair, this is gonna be down lower. You, you are gonna have some right through here in this section uh, of the fin, you're gonna have some right in this little section right there. And then you're gonna have a bunch down here in the, the uh, fin of the tail. Um, let's see if there's any up here. Just a couple right here. And that's it for this part. And then just most of them are gonna be sort of down in this area. You got just a couple through there. So that's where you're gonna have those. This big old bag of 893 is kind of that pinky coral. It's got quite a bit of a, a gold AB coating on top. And that is gonna be K. And you can tell it's a pretty good size bag too. It's not as big as the um, orange or the white AB, but it's still a pretty good size bag. So this one is going to be scattered throughout the painting. Um, the only place that's weird is kind of right through here on her face. She's got a couple, and I just thought that was kind of, I don't know, questionable, so we'll see how it looks. Um, but around where there's a lot of pink in the flowers, and then even in these sections of her hair, you're gonna have those kind of going through it. Then you're gonna have a whole bunch going through the tail, right through here, here, down in this section, you've got a couple around the fish's eye. You've got a bunch on the side here. You have quite a few going through the coral down in this section, right under her tail. 
You've got a few in here. Um, some in this flower, very similar to the ones up there. Uh, let's see, you've got a few right here and then in this section and then just a couple down there. So the K's are really spread out, let's see. And there are just a couple right through here too. So yeah, there are a, a lot of those and they are spread out very nicely. I think so far looking at this, they did a good job with the placement of the ABs. I really, I'm really liking this. And then last but not least, we have that 973 and that's the yellow AB. And once again, it's a pretty good size bag. They're definitely generous with the ABs. So yeah, you've got um, a couple in the fish and let's see if there's any more down here. You've got just a little strip right there, but the bulk of it is gonna be in her hair. It is everywhere in her hair. I mean, you could tell it was a good size bag. So anywhere you see that sort of mid-tone yellow all throughout her hair. So you're gonna have a lot of that golden yellow in her hair. I think that'll look cool. All right, guys. Well, that is all for the Rainbow Daydream Mermaid. I hope that you uh, have enjoyed looking at her. I think she's so pretty. And like I said, I just love the color palette. So I think she'll be a lot of fun to work on. Hopefully the squares are good. And um, obviously I'll do a post review after I do her and let you know how it went. So since we're done with this, let's move on to the second painting called Ronin Rising. All right, so we are ready to open the second one. It is a whole new day. I did not get to unbox this yesterday. So here is Ronin Rising. So let's open this up. Turn the lid off here. And then get this stuff out. And um, like I showed you before, the toolkits come um, separately in the box. They're not in the tube. So you got to see what that was like earlier. Take her out and take a look. I'm so excited. Look, the drill's already coming out and I see the ABs. I don't know how many ABs are in this one. And it looks like, once again, that this one is going to be a square. So, let's get all this out. Ooh, this one's rolled up tight. Toit. Toit like a toiger. Roll it backwards, roll it, roll it because they are poured glue. I can't remember if I mentioned that. Most people that know about Craftably know that they're poured glue, but just in case you don't, let me get this straightened out a little bit. And let's see what else we have in here. We've got that same little sheet that we had before that tells you how to diamond paint. And then we've got another big old stick of sheet. This one has 57 colors and we have one, two, three, four, five, six ABs. So that's really good. Um, you can see that the stickers come off. They go on individual containers. You've got your little extra stickers over here. I love DP, ha ha. And then you've got the smaller sticker that you can put anywhere you want. Here are our drills. I love that they put the sticker on there so you can really see. Um, I looked up the size on this one and it's the same as the other one. I think it's just a, a touch bigger than a 60 by 80, so it's pretty close. You can see all of the beautiful colors in here. This is also a very colorful painting. Got a lot of blues in here. So yeah, I just want you guys to be able to see all of the colors. Really rich reds and oranges. Got some yellows down here. Very nice, very nice. All right, so let us look at the painting. Enough of all that jazz. Oh man, she's cool. She's cool, y'all. She's cool. Can you see her good? Yeah, you can. So yeah, she is about to kick some butt, apparently. She's got her dragon down here. And then I really love her, I don't know, skirt or pants or whatever this is. She's got her, <laughs> her little baby top going on up there. It's bandaged around kind of like her arm is. Um, I don't know, I just thought this was an interesting painting. I love the color 
uh, palette of it. I just thought it was really neat. So let's see who this is by, because I don't know. Oh, by Warm Tail. So it's by Warm Tail. It's a Shutterstock image. Um, and there is the thumbnail. And then, like I said before, you've got this information over here, the um, share your progress and the craftably um, uh, social media stuff, as well as the guarantee. And I see just a couple of places where the plastic didn't stick real well to, um, like down here where the plastic didn't stick real well to the canvas. So that's usually the only time that I like to open it up. You can see there's kind of a little ridge in there. It's all good because it is poured glue. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on a hard surface instead of my carpet. I'm gonna peel back the plastic a little bit and it's nice because um, the plastic's really thick on these. And so I'll peel the plastic back just a little way and just kind of pull the canvas a bit and then lay this back down. And then I'll show you, it does not have this on it anymore. Give me a minute and I'll be right back. So here she is after I took the plastic off just a little bit and then laid it back down. You can even see on the back, the line is a lot less predominant than it was. Um, the canvas is fine, nothing's wrong with it. In fact, I'll show you up close where it was kind of like pulled away from the plastic and it looks fine. In fact, while we're here, let us look at the drill field and see how it looks. Let me get the shine off of here. Symbol's looking good. Looking clear. You guys see anything uh, funky? I don't. I see lots of symbols, but everything makes sense so far. And, you know, even in these darker areas, I can tell what the symbols are. Nice and clear. Let's go to a different area. Let's go where it's a lot more of these reds. Some pinks and purples going on there. I don't know, guys. I don't see anything that bothers me. Let me know in the comments if you see something, but I, I think it looks real good. Yeah, I'm impressed. All right, so let's flip her over like this, take a look at the drills, and then we'll figure out where those ABs go. So, we have our two bags. Like I said, it is a square. It looks like we do have a good bit of 310 in here, so let me... Um, Open this guy up and we'll look at the 310 squares. There we go. And this shouldn't be loud because this isn't crazy plastic, but if you don't like the crinkle, what's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, yes, look at that big old bag of 310. Looks like we have, I don't know, a couple of them. So here's the three tens. Let's look at the back side. Get in here nice and close. You're so shiny. Um, let's see, can you guys see that? Hopefully you can see it all right. I'm trying to get you down in there without any um, shine to it. They look pretty good to me. I don't see anything that makes me nervous. They look like they're pretty flat and I don't see a bunch of tabs. So I don't know, I got you in there pretty close. There's a nice flat drill there. So anyways, yeah, I, uh, I'm looking forward to trying out these paintings. The only square I did before, I think Paisley was a square and I think Frog Loving Felicia was a square. I think they were both squares. I'm almost positive. All right, let's get in here and look at all these ABs. Looks like we've got some really pretty colors and it looks like we may even have one bag, I mean two bags of the same color because there are so many of them. I could be wrong, but man, that's what it looks like. Oh, I guess they are different colors, but still good size bags. Okay. So our A, Bs in this beautiful kit are going to be this big old bag of 
white ABs. We have a big old bag of these yellow ABs, these 973s. I think we may have had these in the other painting too. So pretty. We got another big old pack of yellow. These are a lighter yellow, 3078s. It's a very pretty color. And then we've got 996. Who doesn't love some 996? Very nice, very nice. We've got another bluish color here, 809. And then the last one that we have is this pink color, 3806. It's really pretty, I like that. Yeah, all right, let me flip her over. As far as ABs go, I laid these over here. First one we're gonna look at is that AB08, the white AB. It is the letter O. So basically, they are just a couple in the forehead, all of the handle practically, all of the sword practically. Um, she's got some in her top through here. She's got some at the top of the bandage right there. And then a lot of them right through here in that lighter part. And then she's got just a couple right through there. Uh, the other place is all throughout the dragon. Anywhere that there's white areas that are coming out from the dragon, that's where you're going to see all of those white ABs. And that does it for the white ones. Um, the next one we've got is this blue color. And it's number nine. So that is going to go down here in the kind of cloud area. It's also throughout this little edge of the whiskers and right through here. You're going to get some more of that over in the clouds over here. And in this part of the clouds, I guess is what it is, right through here, there's a bunch down in this area. Then you have a band that goes across here. Um, let's see, ah, up here in this section, You've got some more of those. And then up in this section as well, and all through here, a couple in that section. So that is gonna do it for that big old bag of blue ones. Next, we have the 973s, and that is gonna be the number four. Fours are right here and down in this section. You've got some in the dragon um, actually quite a few sprinkled throughout here and then up in this section you've got a bunch over here on the little sun that she's got on her there's a good section here 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 in this spot um, man that's amazing I mean it is a good size bag but pretty much anywhere that you've got that bright yellow um, this whole section and right through there and same thing up here. Wherever you see that, that bright yellow, that's where the AB goes. So every single place that's got that number four, which is a lot. So the 996 looks like it's one of our smaller bags and that is the letter N. Let's see where this guy goes. Ah, so down here in the bottom in this section, can you guys see that all right? Yeah, down here in this section, You've got some, um, and then just a couple over here in this area and right through here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so just kind of down in the bottom area of the painting. And then we have a huge bag of 3078, and that is number one. And that's this big old buttery looking bag. So the number ones are through this part of the sun. There are a few in here and this whole section of that belt or that part of the, um, her uniform. We've got a bunch of ones through this sort of sunbeam looking area and all in here, all through this area and right up here. Basically around this big 
red sun, red moon, whatever you wanna call it. And then we've got more up here and all in this section, all through here. So it's, it's definitely going to be around the red sun and then also in these areas of the sunbeams. So yeah, you've got a bunch of those too. That looks really good. And then the last bag that we have is the smallest and I'm assuming it's gonna go on her hair, but I don't know. 3806, it's that funky symbol. And that's what they look like. So I'm gonna go straight for the hair. Yep, yep, you've got them in sections right through here, wherever you see that kind of lighter color else yeah up in there that's the only place that you're gonna have those I don't see them anywhere else I don't think they gave you enough to put them anywhere else but you can see there are a bunch of ABs I mean some of those bags are big so I like the painting I like the distribution of the ABs I think it's gonna look really good Ronin rising you guys by warm tail and again I said it's a square and there are six ABs, so not too shabby. I hope that you guys have liked this video. I know it's probably a little bit long since I unboxed two paintings, but uh, you've told me before that you like longer videos, so hey, I hope, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it while you're diamond painting or relaxing. And uh, let me know in the comments if you got either one of these paintings. I'm sure that um, there are probably a lot of people that got the same same couple of paintings. I'm sure you'll see a lot of craftably unboxings, but I don't know if anybody else got this one. I just thought it was really interesting and kind of up my alley. I love anything that's Asian inspired. So anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and click the bell and you will be notified anytime that I put up a new video. I appreciated you hanging out with me and until next time, I see you then. Bye, guys.